Hello everyone, today I will be going to teach you about the concept of user datagram protocol which is UDP, the abbreviation of UDP is user datagram protocol. So what is a user datagram protocol? User datagram protocol is also called a connectionless unreliable transport protocol. It does not add anything to the services of IP except to provide process to process communication instead of host to host communication. So this UDP protocol comes in the layer of OSI model which is our transport layer. So there are also well known ports for UDP which is SNMP, TFTP, RPC. So RPC stands for Remote Procedure Call, TFTP, Trivial File Transfer Protocol and SNMP which stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. So this is the basically the user datagram format. So look this header contains of 8 bytes and rest a note the user datagram format is of 32 bits so the header will have 8 bytes and the rest remaining will be 32 minus 8 will be our 24 ok so 24 will be our the rest of the data and 8 bytes will be our header so what are the question that comes for the UDP header is find the source port number destination port number total length and checksum now look I have told you that the total length of a UDP format is 32 bits so that the one digit of a data is equal to 2 bytes so so header is equal to 8 bytes which means there will be 4 digit because one digit is equal to 2 bytes so 4 into 2 8 bytes now look how to calculate the source port number destination port number total length and checksum in this manner now look there is a question of a UDP header the following is a dump of a UDP header in hexadecimal format which is 0632 000D 001CE217 so you don't know what is the source port number destination port number we will calculate all these four answers from this question only now the question that uh, asked to us is what is the source port number destination port number total length of the user datagram what is the length of the data and is the packet directed from a client to a server or vice versa now coming to the answer now look the first step that you need to do is break the hexadecimal format into four sections now i have told you that the the size of the udp header format is of 32 bits which means one digit here is equal to two bytes so where it is present 16 digits so 16 into 2 32 bytes now look we have to divide it into four sections so 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4 so four sections will be there in one section there will be four digits so 0632 00d 001c and e21c now it is very simple to calculate look when you will solve this 0632 you will get source port number when you will solve this b you will get destination port number when you will solve this c you will get total length of user datagram and when you will solve this d you will get the checksum now the question here comes is how to solve this a b c d now look for that before solving this question you must know the table of hexadecimal notation in terms of zeros and ones you must know the, you must know the hexadecimal notation in terms of zeros and ones now the table here is now you have to learn the you have to learn this table of hexadecimal notation so how you can learn it remembering this way you have 32 bits ok the size of the UDP header is 32 bits so there are 16 digits so here will be 16 numbers ok now how you will get here 16 numbers now look 0 to 9 in hexadecimal notation 0 to 9 is the numbers range and A to F is the alpha alphabets range now look this can be written in this form of 0 1 0 1 0 1 till up to F and coming to the second column this column you will 2 times 0 2 times 1 and so on similar you will column 3 you will get a 4 times 0 4 times 1 now till up to where it will end ok now coming to the last column which is 8 times 0 8 times 1 when you will get solve this you will see uh, mark here the numbers ok now look 3 is given suppose 0 0 1 this is the notation of 3 so because starting from the right 2 raised to power 0 when we multiply 2 raised to power 0 into 1 we get 1 and when we multiply 2 raised to power 1 into 1 we get 2 and rest is 0 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so when you will solve this by 2 right from starting from right 2 raised to power 0 and then so on you will get the values ok and note there is no 10 it will end only at 9 and then it will start from a b c d till e f ok now how to solve the first part of the question 
note this table is very much important so please note it down okay solving the first part of the question we have asked us what is the source port number i have told that the first four digits will be our source port number so here it is 0632 so zero can be written in this format now look you have to see from this table zero can be written in this format six can be written in this format three can be written in this format two can be written in this format okay starting power from right to is wrong now you have to solve this starting from right remember starting from right to is wrong look 0 to 2 raised to power 0 1 into 2 raised to power and so on now where it will come 1 you have to multiply because when you will solve this 1 into 2 raised to power 10 you must know what is 2 raised to power 10 what is 2 raised to power 11 12 13 14 15 16 and so on okay now i have prepared the table for you as well now look 1 and 2 raised to power 10 here is 1024 1024 Two four plus two is twelve and nine, which is five one two. And when you solve this, you will get one five eight six bytes. So this is our source port number. So we have completed the first part. Similarly, you do the second question with destination port number, which is three times zero D. And look, similar to the same step, solve this, you will get eight plus four plus one, which is thirteen bytes. Now coming to the third part of the section, which have come zero zero one C. Now look here, it is given C. So C we have here. One one zero zero. Starting power from right. When you solve it, you will get here sixteen plus eight plus four. You will get twenty eight bytes. Now fourth part, which is asked to us, what is the length of the data? Now note, the length of the data will be our. Now you can see here there is two types of length here. First is total length of the user data gram, and second is length of the data. Now look, the total length of the user your data gram. Will be our total length of the user data gram, which is here come 28 bytes. Now, how to get the length of the data? The length of the data by subtracting the length of the user data gram minus 8 byte header, the first four digits. Okay, you have simply have to use minus by 8. When you minus 28 minus 8, you will get 20 bytes. So this is the length of the data. Now the last question is, is it? Now the last question is: Is the packet directed from a client to a server or vice versa? The answer always will be client to server. Now suppose in the question you have asked us find the checksum. I have told you that the last four digits, the last four digits of the question, the D here is checksum. How we will solve this? You you have got here e two one seven. You will do the similar step. Solving e two one seven e written in triple one zero two written in that form. Basically, the main core of this as UDP header is the hexadecimal notation table. If you get summarize it, it's very easy. If you will once try to write down the table, you will get very easy. Now, when you will solve this, make sure you remember the powers of two till up to two raised to power sixteen. So I wrote up to here two raised to power which is two seven. Three two seven six eight. So when you will solve this, you will get a five seven eight seven nine. So this is how we do the UDP header. So this is very important in your numerical portion of computer networks. So I hope you like my video. If you like it, then please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure forward to your friends as well. So thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.